Okay, I wasn't gonna do any videos because I'm pretty scuzzy from being out in the garden all day, but I just found something. I was just coming to check my tomatoes and I noticed a whole bunch of stems with no leaves. And you know who does that? This guy. Tomato hornworm. Oh, look, look how big this guy is. <laughs> so here's an interesting little tidbit about tomato hornworms. They glow under a black light. And last year I had, I had a lot of them. So I ordered a little black light off of Amazon, just a little handheld one. And my husband and I came out here in the dark and we found almost all of them. So I guess I know what I'm doing tonight. After the sun goes down, I'll be getting my, my black light and I'll be coming out here searching for hornworms. But right now I'm gonna get a pair of gloves and get this grocer off of here and throw them to the chickens. Blech. Okay, let's go get it. I'm pretty stoic usually when it comes to this kind of stuff, but these guys are really gross. They hang on tight and then they make this clicking noise. Oh, yucky, yucky, yuck. Oh, oh he's hanging on so tight and I'm pulling. Okay. Oh, look how big this is. Ew, he's grabbing onto my finger. Okay, let's go find the chickens. Oh. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, they're so gross. Girls, come, come here. Oh, I have something. First hornworm of the year. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fight over it. The winner. <laughs> okay, that guy's disposed of and there's never just one. There is never just one. So I'll be out here later on this evening to look for the rest of them. Now, if I got lucky, I would get this parasitic wasp. I've had this before. So the first time I ever found one of these was in my little race garden in Toronto. And I A, had never seen a tomato hornworm before, but this one was covered in eggs from a parasitic wasp, which, I wish I had some of those right now because those would take care of those hornworms. Anyways, they lay their eggs all on the top of it. And when they hatch, they devour the hornworm. That's its source of food. And that is the first time I ever saw one. And I wasn't sure what I was looking at. I wasn't sure if those were part of the caterpillar or if, you know, something had laid eggs on it. And I brought it into the house. <laughs> As soon as I googled it and found out what it was, it went right back outside. But now I just feed them to the chickens. They love them. They fight over them. Ugh. So here are some clues that you might have a tomato hornworm, or you most likely do. You can see my stem here has no leaves on it. Would normally have leaves like that. This one's almost gone. And then they have a very distinctive poop. Let me see if I can find one. Give me a second here. So here's a very fresh one, but they have a very distinctive poop. Their poop is kind of shaped like a flower. So if you see little flower shaped nuggets kind of laying around on your tomato leaves, you know you've got a hornworm in there somewhere and you're just gonna have to look for them. They're hard to find too. They're very, very camouflaged. And sometimes I find them by accidentally grabbing them. That ugh, is the worst way to find a hornworm. So stick with your black light, folks, because that is the way to go. <laughs> oh, look, there it is right there. <laughs> it's, oh my God, it's huge. Can you see it? It is like Allison in it. Right? Oh. Where's the button? All right, it's the next morning. I think we got everybody. The black light is so helpful. We got three more last night, so I'll just have to keep my eye out because I know they're around now. Mm -hmm. 
So in a couple days, I'm going to be getting my wisdom teeth taken out. So I probably won't be filming for a few days. So I was thinking maybe tomorrow I'd film a late July garden tour because as you can see, everything's really starting to look nice and it's popping off. Well, I hope you enjoyed our horrifying hunt for hornworms and hopefully you don't find any in your garden. But if you do, you know what to look for now. Thanks for watching.